Falling asleep fast is a really good skill to learn because not only will it improve the quality of your sleep, but many lucid dreaming techniques require you to wake up in the middle of the night and then go back to bed. And the quicker that you can do this, the better. So today in this video, I'm going to show you the best techniques that you can use tonight to fall asleep in under two minutes. Before I get into this video, I have some pretty exciting news to share with you. I just launched my very own Patreon page, where I will be posting my dream journals and extra content that you can't find on my channel. If you don't have any money, I still recommend checking it out, because there's a bunch of free lucid dreaming stories already on there that anyone can read. I'll leave a link down below in the description. I also offer free one-on-one -on -one lucid dreaming coaching to people who support me on Patreon, which means that if you have any questions or need help with something, just send me a message and I'll help you out. You can support me on Patreon and have access to all of my private posts for as little as $3, which is less than a cup of coffee. I would really appreciate any help from you guys because I want to make more amazing lucid dreaming videos. And if I get enough support, I can quit my part-time job and upload multiple videos every week. Okay, so you want to fall asleep in under two minutes. First of all, you need to prepare yourself so that the techniques in this video will actually work. The best way to get started is to establish a sleep schedule. What this means is that you fall asleep and wake up at the same time every night. Your body has an internal clock which causes you to become alert or sleepy depending on what time it is. So by having a sleep cycle like this, you'll train that clock to recognize when it's time to fall asleep and it'll prepare your body to go to sleep even before you lie in bed. Once you have a sleep schedule, make sure that during the day you get as much sunlight as possible. The reason that this is important is because when you don't get enough sunlight, your internal clock will be disrupted, making it harder to fall asleep at night. When you go outside and expose yourself to bright light, it'll cause you to be more alert during the day instead of at night. On the contrary, you need to make your room as dark as possible when you're planning to go to sleep. Darkness promotes feelings of sleepiness by boosting the production of melatonin, which is a hormone that helps you sleep. It's important that you're not stressed out close to bedtime, because it can cause difficulty falling asleep. If something is bothering you, try practicing yoga or meditation in the evening. These activities will enhance melatonin levels in the body, making it easier to fall asleep fast. Not only that, but you'll also get rid of stress and less thoughts will distract you when you're in bed. Lastly, give yourself 30 minutes to an hour to wind down in the evening before getting in bed. This allows your body and your mind to relax and prepare for sleep. Now, let's get into some habits that you need to get rid of if you're planning on falling asleep in under 2 minutes. 1. Avoid naps during the day. At least, don't nap during the day for any more than two hours, because there's a chance that it could lead to poor sleep during the night and possibly sleep deprivation. Two, watch what you eat. Your diet is linked to the quality of sleep that you get, and the general rule is that eating healthy foods will cause you to have a better night's sleep. If you don't wanna change your diet, at least try not to eat sugary or high fat foods close to bedtime, as it'll keep you awake at night. Three, turn off all electronics one hour before going to sleep. This is a big one because using technology will keep you up at night and prevent any of this from working. Not only will the bright screen tell your brain that it's not time to fall asleep, but you'll also be distracted and those thoughts could prevent you from sleeping as well. Four, don't drink coffee before going to sleep. Okay, so you've done everything to prepare yourself for sleep and now it's time to go to bed. First of all, get rid of all sounds or anything that could distract you. If you want to put on relaxing music, you can do that and studies have shown that it's linked with better sleep, although you don't need it to have success and it doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Next, get as comfortable as you can. You don't want to be adjusting your position when you're trying this technique. When you feel ready, lie down in bed and relax all the muscles in your face, including your tongue, jaw, and muscles around the eyes. Drop your shoulders as far down as they'll go, followed by your upper and lower arms, one side at a time. Breathe out and relax your chest, followed by your legs, starting from your thighs and working your way down. Spend 10 seconds trying to clear your mind before thinking of one of the three following images. 1. You're lying in a canoe on a calm lake, 
with nothing but a clear blue sky above you. 2. You're lying in a black velvet hammock in a pitch black room. 3. Repeat the phrase, don't think to yourself over and over for about 10 seconds, and then don't think about anything. If you do, just repeat the phrase again. You want to choose one of these things and keep doing it until you fall asleep. If you've done everything in this video correctly, this should take no longer than two minutes. This technique is so powerful and effective, it's actually used by the US Army. If it takes longer for you to fall asleep, don't worry because practice makes perfect and you'll be able to do it quicker every time. Studies show that this works for 96% of people, so chances are it'll work for you. But that's about it for today's video. I hope that this will help you fall asleep faster, and if you're trying to lucid dream, make the process even easier. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because I post weekly tutorials about lucid dreaming. If you want to control your dreams every night, or at least whenever you want, then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Again, I've left the link down below in the description to check out my Patreon page, so if you want to read some of my dream journals or consider supporting me, then feel free to check it out. And as always, thanks for watching.